five. Well, right here, you'll just see the air that they make. They lose the puck, and uh, as a result, the puck will be taken away. Pass is made. Mike Bossy comes into it, but look at what he does. He drops it off to Clark Gillies, who lets the shot go as if he's going to let it go, but Bobby Borner is right there to the left of Jill's Melosh and just lets it. Well, the, the Islanders almost make an air right here because of Dennis Potvin. He ends up getting knocked down, but watch what happens. Number five gets himself right back up, gets in the pitcher, picks up that puck, and here he comes. Gives it up to Bobby Bourne. Now what's happened? Over to Clark Gillies. Now just a great pass. Completely right in. Waits for Melosh to go down. Puts the stick on up high in the net. Goal number 26. From the faceoff, Trache controls. Up to Bossy. Bossy pass Melosh. And there's on his left. Well, right here, you're looking at uh, Brian Trotsky and Barrett going at it, and I think this is retaliation from earlier, but look, watch what happens right here. The puck comes right out complete, but look who's coming in, number five, and there's that Patton wrist shot. He just fires that puck past the Jills Melosh and ends up getting his 29th goal for... The Rangers were at the end of their game tonight with the Minnesota North Star sporting the best record in the National Hockey League. They led Montreal by two points. Well, tonight, the Isles won again 5-3, to three, and I'll tell you about the Canadians in just a minute. The Isles took a 3-0 lead on some nice passing from Gillies to Bourne, who eventually wound up with the goal. That was Bourne's second of the night. Then Mike Bossy did it again, scored the 59th of the year off the faceoff. He drilled it in as those quick wrists were just too much for Meloche to handle. Islanders a winner 5-3. to three. They all beat Cal the best record in the NHL. They're two